Hey guys, what's up? So, so I'm going to be doing a makeup video on this look right here. Originally, it was not supposed to be eyeshadow, but I had to put on eyeshadow. I just feel weird without eyeshadow now. But yeah, this is the look right here. At first, we were going with the flow, and the flow took us here. So this is the look I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be creating this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you guys so, so very much. Now let's just get started. All right, so I have already done my eyebrows and stuff off camera because you guys already know my eyebrow routine. Low key, my eyebrow routine has changed a little. So if you guys do want a video on that, please do let me know. So I don't know what look I'm going for today. It's never really planned. So we're just gonna go with the flow today. But I am trying to I'm just trying to have a little light beat. I have already primed my skin, I moisturized too. The primer that I used is the Master Prime by Maybelline. And the moisturizer that I used is the e.l.f. Daily Moisturizer. This is so fucking good. So I'm taking the True Match Super Blendable Makeup by L'Oreal. It's in the color 2.5. So I'm just gonna pour that on the back of my, oh my god, that's a lot, on the back of my hand. Oh lordy. Okay, um, I, okay, cool. I'm just gonna dot that all over my face. I'm just gonna take my Sonia Cashew Beauty Sponge and I'm just gonna tap this in. So I have already patting the foundation with that, but we're gonna warm up the face with some contour because I'm looking a little pasty. Ooh, white. I'm using the makeup you guys, you guys already know. I have been into cream contouring, like you guys already know, and it's just so much prettier. So I'm just gonna blend this out, and I will be right back. All right, so I blended out the foundation and I blended out the contour. Now I'm just gonna add some concealer because I feel like, I mean, I, I don't feel like I need to hide my dark circles. Bridge my nose, here my forehead, and my lids because I need a prime for eyeshadow if I feel like putting some more. And I'm just gonna blend that out. The concealer is blended out and everything, so it's the uh, cream contouring. Now I'm just gonna bake under the eye using the CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder in translucent. It's a loose powder. I'm gonna bake under the eye because I used the Revolution powder and I liked it, but I feel like this one is just a safe bet. And then I'm gonna go with the powder all over. I said I tried not to use lots of powder, but here I am baking, okay. I'm gonna go blend the concealer on my lids and then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna set that with powder. I'm gonna use a real techniques crease brush. I'm just gonna pack and push that into the eyeball. I love this powder like I love this powder 
so much. Y'all don't even understand how much I love this powder. And I'm like just pressing it onto my eyebrows so my eyebrows like, so they like set as well, I guess. Now I'm just gonna brush it off on the rest of the face. And this powder, like what I like about it is that it doesn't like leave a cast. And after that, I like to go with a spoolie on my eyebrows to just take off any powder that's left. With the spoolie and just take off all the powder. And then after I'm done with all my makeup, I go in and then I like fill them in a little more or I add brow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow, but that's gonna go on after we finish all our makeup. So now I'm gonna grab the banana powder by Makeup Revolution and I'm gonna clean up under the, the contour. I'm gonna put some on the lid. Clean up the contour with, with a very precise brush. It's from Wish Beauty. I'm gonna clean this up. This side needs to really I like this powder over my under eye, not before I set my under eye, if that makes any sense. After I'm done, I like to go with eyeshadow. I'm gonna be taking the Morphe M433 brush and the Naked Heat palette. I haven't used this. I like, I have not even used this. Like you can tell I accidentally dig my nail in there and there and then I barely used it. I don't know why, but I wanna try it today, so yeah. I'm gonna be taking a flat top brush. Flat top brush, is that what they're called? I don't know, but a brush like this. I'm gonna be digging into which one first? Oh, I'm gonna be digging into cayenne. And I'm just gonna put that on the lid. Your eye. These are pigmented. And I do have fallout, so I'm just gonna sweep it off. And see, it doesn't stain, so. I'm gonna be taking the Morphe M433 and I'm gonna take Low Blow. It's the fourth shade. And I'm gonna be blending that out. I don't like this mirror. Okay. Circular motions. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little patchy. I'm going to take a little bit of cayenne and he devil in the crease to see if I can fix this shit. I knew I shouldn't have used the palette, but I haven't used. Okay, never mind. It's fixing. It's fixing. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool, guys. Never mind. Take back what I said. It's cool. Now, like, I want to switch palettes, but like, now I'm gonna do the same thing I did to this side, to the other eye. Let me fix this. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I fixed it a little. It took some like blending and stuff, like quite some time, but it's cool. I guess it worked out. It's not my favorite palette and like I can see like why I haven't used it a lot, but let me just show you guys how it looks. Um, see it's kind of blended, I gotta blend this eye out a little more. And I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush. But, it's like, it's not bad. I like how it looks from like far away because it looks like super fucking blended and stuff. I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line with Heat Devil and Low Blow. The outer corner. And then work my way in. Smoking my under eye out. These are cooler tones than what I usually go for. But I like it. Like, I like it. Like, if I am in a hurry, and I'm gonna get ready. I 
probably wouldn't choose this palette, but if I'm if I have time and I don't really have to be anywhere until way later, I probably would go for this palette. Like it's not bad, but it's not like mmm, you know, your everyday look. The Anastasia Modern Renaissance one. I love. I love that shit. Alright, so I'm gonna take this contour off. I'm gonna put my stuff away. I'm gonna come back with highlighter and mascara and the lip. And then, yeah. Alright, so I dust off the bake and it looks kind of harsh, but. I kind of felt good. Like, alright, so I haven't added highlighter yet or mascara because I said that I was gonna come back talk to you guys. Alright, this is new. This is the e.l.f. for me, it's new. The e.l.f. highlighting powders in Starlight Glow. And Tati said that this was a really good highlighter and I wanted to try it. So I'm gonna spray one more time. The one that smells like bug spray and stuff, yeah. Alcohol. I'm gonna grab a bangled brush. I'm gonna. Okay. So this highlighter is beaming. Oh. Ooh. So pretty. Sucks with it. Cute, but I don't know if I would purchase it again. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like other ones are better. It like kind of like took off my. It didn't take it off, but like the highlighter took over my bronzer on the forehead. Let me try to blend this. Oh, I didn't add more. I just blending it. I'm gonna spray my face one more time because this side is more beaming than this side, so would it repurchase it? But I feel like I have to get to know it first. If that makes sense, like I have to see how it works and stuff. Yeah, girl, like glowing. I think I'm glowing. Alright, so now I'm gonna add some brow mascara. I'm going to add some brown mascara. Remember when I told you guys I like doing this when I'm fully done with my makeup? Yeah, now it's time. I like brushing them up and then to the side. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express mascara for my lashes. Duh, because you put on mascara for your lashes. I mean, I also use it for my eyebrows, but I'm going to curl my lashes. I like to start at the root and then slowly move it up, but like as I'm moving it up and I curve, I like clamp quicker. And one more time. I don't need falsies, but like I want falsies, but like I don't need them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is it. This is a look. This is what I like to do. This is how I do my makeup. The palette, like, at first I didn't like it, but like, I like it now. Like, it's weird because stuff that I don't like, I always like end up like liking it and stuff, and it's just, but I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been gone a really long time and stuff, but 
I'm gonna steady upload now. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not even gonna sit here and make excuses. Like, I'm sorry, but like, I'm just sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I have no excuse, but I'm sorry. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so, so much. But, I love you guys so much. And thank you for all the support, all the nice comments. Thank you for all of that. I genuinely do mean it. And I, so like i'm so happy every time i read those comments you guys are always complimenting me and always being so sweet i love you guys so so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys have a wonderful rest of your day please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and like and subscribe leave a comment down below if you like the video or not or just leave a comment down below on your thoughts just know me in comments please i don't I have tolerance for me in comments, but I love you guys so much.